I think it's a crime as a forex trader if you don't know the meaning of algo trading. You must have heard of trading robots, expert advisors, or popular indicators such as the moving average or the Bollinger Band. I'm sure that at least once it must have crossed your mind that how can you create all these things and how can you automate your trading strategies? Well, that's the purpose of this video and the ones to come. This video is the first video of the series titled Introduction to MKL5 where I'll be teaching you how to view trading bots and indicators. The best part is this is a free course and it's for absolute beginners because you don't need any form of programming background. After watching this video and you find it helpful, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to get updates for the next video of this series. Welcome back. This series will be starting with short videos because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much of information. In this video, I'll brief you on the introduction to programming and MKL5. I'll make it as interactive as possible. And as this series progresses, I'll be asking you questions and also give you assignments. So my first question to you is that what do you understand by program? I want you to pause this video, answer the question in the comment section. Okay, I believe you've done that. Program means a set of rules you follow to achieve something, right? Now, if I say programming what does that mean programming is a process you follow to create a program right now for example we have different applications like whatsapp chrome safari your black your bank apps they are all programs all those applications are refers to as programs now the process of creating those programs is called programming next if i say programming language what does that mean i want you to pause the video then answer in the comment section okay i believe you've done that if computer programming is a process of creating a program and a language is a process of communication what does programming language means it means programming language is a way for you as a human to communicate your intentions to the computer you know Computers do not understand human language and computer can create anything in its capabilities and you can't just go ahead and start speaking to computer in English or French. It doesn't work that way. You need to communicate with the computer with the language it understands. I won't go into too much details about the basics of programming because the main purpose of this video is algo trading. So just like we have different types of human languages, we also have different types of of programming languages I personally divide them into two categories there's one I refer to as multi-purpose programming language these are the type of programming language that you can use to create different things you can use them to create websites you can use them to create games and but that is not our focus so the second one the second category is what I refer to as domain specific programming language this are the type of programming language that you can only use them to perform one function for example mkl5 which is what i'm teaching you for this series is the type of programming language that you use to build trading bots on your metatrader 5 we also have another one we call mql4 this is the type of programming language that you use to build trading bots on your metatrader 5 though these two are different but they are similar in in, in a lot of ways if you learn mql5 it's be very easy for you to cross to mkl4 so just learn one of the two and you'll be good to transition to the next so lastly we have another one that i refer to as that is called pine script what pine script is used for is to build trading bots on your trading view you can't use it to build trading bot on metatrader 5 or metatrader 4 you can only use it to build trading bots on your trading view one thing i want you to know about programming is that it is very simple the only place you might have issue is the basics so as this video progresses i might be saying some things you don't fully understand but just keep going at a point you start getting it so don't feel intimidated or give up too easily in the next video i will introduce you to what i refer to as meta editor 5 which is the ide and i will also explain to you different types of trading bots that we have in mkl5 and we also discuss basic terminologies now what I want you to do before the next video is this. I want you to understand different types of, to make your research on different types of trading bots that we have. I also want you to understand what we, what an IDE, the meaning of IDE. I won't tell you the meaning. Go and do your research and some basic terminologies in programming. This is very important for 
the next video all right guys make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and on the notification bell so that when i drop the next video you'll be notified i'll be dropping video almost every day so bye guys